John 3, verse 16. John 3, 16. This is a verse. Okay, verse can, you, can you just read that verse? John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten son yes. so that whoever believes and trusts in him as savior shall not perish but have eternal life. Can we just write only love? How much we were loved. I, I, I found a definition of love. Which I will also tell you. Because I realize that God has loved us unconditionally. Yesterday when I was walking, I began to think all of us who are here or even those who lived before us and those who are going to live it's a privilege that God has given us. We are not supposed to be seeing what we are seeing today. We're not supposed to be seeing each other and know each other. It's out of God's love. Love is out of God's love. Look what the Bible says, the verse we know. John chapter 3, verse 16. Verse 16. Love the world. 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 God so loved this world. Love the world. Love the world. God loved us to extend that he priced. He priced. So that when we consider the price, we will come out from the punishment that was set and given eternal life. What God wanted to do was to destroy this world. Oh, he was supposed to have destroyed the world. Because of sin. Because of rebellion. From the beginning. But God, when he looked, he loved. Though we are rebellion. He loved though we are sinning. He gave the prize Jesus. He prized Jesus. That when we believe in him. When we take him. When we take him, he will replace us to the punishment we are supposed to be facing. Truly we have been loved. I found that we need to understand that love. What is better to understand this love is found in Romans 5. Verse 5. Just read that verse. Such hope in God's promises mm -hmm. never disappoint us because God's love has been abundantly poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Did you hear that? The love that we are talking about which God had when he started to love the whole world it has been shared to our hearts. It has been shared to our hearts. I just want to speak these things slowly so that you understand. Listen to this. God love well, by this love, it is the same love of God loving the world that was taken from God and enter our hearts through the Holy Spirit. 
You know, when I was looking at this, I began to understand that unless the Holy Spirit is involved, will pretend to love. No one can love until he have the Holy Spirit. He or she. Because it's the Holy Spirit it's the Holy Spirit that shared the love unto our hearts. And now we are able to love too. We have been loved to love. Tell we have been loved to love. Not love to love others. And love others. To love everyone. When we say we love God, look at First John from verse 4. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. From verse 18. Let's read to 20. 18 to 20. There is no fear in love, meaning dread does not exist, but perfect, complete, full grown love drives out fear because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment. So the one who is afraid of God's judgment is not perfected in love, meaning has not grown into a sufficient understanding of God's love. We love because he first loved us. Did you hear that verse? Amen. We love Riarata. Because he first loved us. Carry on. If anyone says, I love God, and hates, meaning works against his Christian brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. Stop there. I'm learning something here, and I want to learn with you. I've seen many people who are able to speak against other people. One day I was asking, why these people, they don't speak against their mother? Always you'll be speaking about that pastor, that, that brother, brother, but you're not speaking about people you love. Your love is so much limited that it's self-centered to the ones you love. Because it's not coming from the Holy Spirit. It was not shared by the Holy Spirit. If it's shared by the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit and God are one. You are supposed to love the way he loves. I don't know if you're hearing that. So can you see what the Bible says now? It says, if you love, your heart when it's full of love, you won't be able to judge. You will love everyone. You hear that verse there? You cannot judge. If you work against any Christian brother. You are a liar. In other words, the love you are talking about is not the one that was shared by the Holy Spirit As, in your heart. You can work against some people. The one that you say you love is limited. There are certain people you love, but you can work against others. Carry on, Redeemer. For the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. Did you hear that verse? Already now, our love that has been shared in our hearts is being checked on how we demonstrate our love to others. I'm sure, let me say it again. If you demonstrate 
your love to others. You hate others and you love others. You cannot say you love God. You are so much limited. You tell yourself you love God. Because you are failing on people you can see. Many of you are here. You have challenges from people. And those challenges are there. And the challenge to change, change. If truly you mean you love God. Because if you love God, you still love them. Even if they have hated you or hated you. You know, our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was going to the cross, the test of Judas was not easy. And many of you have really met Judas. You met Judas' sisters and Judas' brothers. But the test was of your love. If this love, it is the same love that God loved the world. Is it demonstrated rightly the same way your father did? You can still say, I love this person. But challenges, but challenges are coming to test. test. If truly you mean it. Especially if you say you love God. Don't ever say, Challenges will never come. They are coming your way. Are you still going to laugh? Are you still going to stand on what you say? Have you ever found what happened to our Lord Jesus Christ when he was going to the cross? Listen to this. The painful part was Jesus knew Jesus the person was going to betray him. We are lucky because we don't know. We are just be surprised. Ah, we know I didn't know. Didn't know. So therefore you cannot blame yourself. Because you didn't know. But look at Jesus. Who knew? This man, I love him. Hey, this man, I call him my disciple. But still, Mara, I can't can change him. You know, love goes so far that the day you find that the person you love so much is not that the person you love so much it is the one who's doing bad things to you. Understand that God is so close. The Holy Spirit is so close. Listen. We don't talk about Holy Spirit without you demonstrating love. Can you tell me, we don't talk about Holy Spirit without you demonstrating love. Some of us are filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking, I'm speaking in tongues, but you are still, you are still offended because someone says something. Your love is being checked. If it truly is coming from God or is coming from man, thank God you are hurt and you are hearing this message. This year, change so that victory will be your portion. The moment when you start to walk in love, your enemies will be defeated. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because they want to hurt you. Listen to this. You fall your head. You rejoice, you overcome. You fall, you hurt. You got a history of pain because of what you have experienced. You are being challenged so that you have history. And once your love is affected, your trust starts to diminish. When you look at the people, you won't trust them. Why? Because your love is affected. So how can you trust God? How can you have faith in God? How can you believe God? Uh, you know, I saw, I don't forget, I saw that Kidron Valley. 
where our Lord descended. Going to the place of prayer. In the garden of Gethsemane. That place is like this. They were walking like this. Going to pray. And the Bible says, Jesus said, they sing a hymn. And they were going down. Jesus knew that he will never ascend alone. As he's going down there, the betrayer was coming to test his love. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen to this. Sometimes when you are descending, knowing that you will never rise again, it can bring anger. You can look at the things in a different way. Listen, there are many when they were descending and their love was affected and began to question God why I'm going through this. But the Bible says when they were going down Jesus began to sing a hymn. When they were singing going down to pray Jesus was not worried. I believe the song that he was singing is this this verse, verse that we have read, that you have given, how you have loved this world and given a seed that you will destroy. Jesus might have sung a song that talks about how much he loved this world. Though he was going down, I'm here to tell you that you many of you are here. Your love is going down because you are looking at where you are going. This is the time where you can strengthen your love because you are going down. It's just for a moment. You will be lifted up and no one will be able to pull you down. It is a time now that I'm here to tell you just love when you are going down. You will see the love taking you to where you belong. Let me give an example of what I will be saying because it is only love that can make you to fulfill your assignment. Jesus never wanted to be disturbed. You can see this. So I'm seeing it. I'm seeing that. But I want to fulfill the assignment of my father. Let me go and die. But I don't want to blame this one. I don't want to fight this one. Whoever fights me, I will just say, hey, stop. I want to die there. I'm not going to die here. So don't affect my destiny. I just I just want to love everyone, including the one who is fighting. Many of you today, you have tempered with the destiny of the Lord gave you. Why? Because your love was, was affected. If truly this love is, is the one that God gave you, any challenge that comes your way will never affect that love. I don't know if you are hearing me. Are you sure you love everyone? Are you sure you love God? If truly you love God and you love everyone, soon God will make you example. You will fulfill your destiny. Fulfill your you destiny. I say you fulfill your destiny. I decided to. I said, I'll tell you this. Go and try it at home. That scripture that says, How can you love God whom you cannot see? Failing to love the one you can see. I started in my house. I said, hey, I, want to, I want to love Mama. I want to love her to extend that. If I die, Mama, it will be very difficult to find a man. I'm not sure you understand what I'm trying to say. 
I want to love it to extend that mama won't search for any man. When she went to search, she will remember the love I gave her. I have loved this mama because I cannot love God if I'm failing to love him. I have loved this woman to extend that I feel that's how God loved the world. Because listen to the you, you must not say you love. And you fail to fulfill what you say. Your, your, your love is being checked on what you said. On what you do. Romans 13, verse 10. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Love does no does no wrong to a neighbor. It never hurts anyone. Therefore, unselfish love is the fulfillment of the law. Can we hear that verse? Love is being checked also on your neighbor. Someone throws that to you. Love is being shared. We'll never do wrong to your neighbor. When you love someone, if truly this love does not have selfishness, there is no sin. You are under grace. There's no sin you will do. You are not under the law. You are under the grace. If you want to succeed in life from today, practice love. Practice He who does not practice love, you are practicing love. Is selfish. It's under the law, it is still a sinner. Jesus has not yet come to that person. But he who practices in a way that there's no selfishness, the grace of God work for that person. You hear what I'm trying to say? There are things, listen. You cannot get them by prayer. You get them by love. If you want to be successful in love, love your neighbor like yourself. How, how can you fight? When, some, when you have peace, when you love, how can you fight? Look at the grudges you are having. The fights that you are having are coming from selfishness. When you are self-centered, when you are looking at yourself, try to look at your goals without helping another. You are bound to hurt someone. Your, your love becomes limited. Your love is very small. Your love becomes very small. My wife was telling me that, that uh, uh, because I told her I'm just giving an example of me and Mama. I told her that Mama, me, I can't go to the shop and buy a shirt for myself. I know, I know there are some men like that. There are some men where their money is in their pocket. Where, where, where money goes only to buy bread. Someone, your wife must ask. And I say, Mama, me, I cannot hold money. You, you, need, you need to cook. You need to take care of the family. And I cannot go always and say, hey. Always I will be here. What must we eat? Kukupela chalet. Metaye eri jayingi na asi kukupela chalet ya ureka. Very old, very quick. Eh, kito tofala isi khal. 
The reasons why many people, many men are old. Because they are, they are hearing the stories they are not supposed to hear. But what is about the last time I went to buy what what? You will die very soon. When when you have love, how many people you will die very soon? When when you have love, how many people you will die very soon? When you have love, take this money. To, to give to the, the one you love and watch. This person will cook the best thing. This person will show the love that this person is having for you. What is the reasons why we work? Why is your own tabaya or a medical key? What is the reasons why we work? Why? Tabaya over a key for your wife, over a salary, your children, over a galavan about. So you need to demonstrate the love of God. No, so you want to hell, rather than a challenge. Take your money and give it to your wife and watch what will happen. This woman, Mosadio, will go to the Saloon for you. Adiela wena. So that when we want into irata. So so that you can see what you love. We want into irata. So that you can see what you love. Una no we want into irata. Do you think you are seeing what you love? Libela msaria ukaru ukaru lasi elo ukaru nyakari kum. Look at your wife. It's like somebody who's coming elsewhere. This is the time that you love. But look what my wife she's doing. When after I take this money and give it to mama. Oh my God. My mama will just go to the shop and search for the best suits of my husband. For me and mama to wear this I was trying to like this. That's For Orinale, the same things. It's her. Because I will take the money and give it to her. Herself. She will then go and manage. And I don't have strengths of money. I don't have strengths of money. I'm just Amen. preaching this message. Because how can a man say I love God? Very to love his wife. How can a wife say I love God? Very to take care of the husband. This is the time now that it, the love must start in the house. Let it start in the house. It is the time now. Sometimes when you know you see some people lifting up the hands, now what you mean when you open up to a palm, you see the tears of a woman going down. What I want to tell you, Jama, my dear Chihuahua, you think maybe it is the Holy Spirit? Oh, now now, Robert, tell me more. Can't is the clap of yesterday? Can't take a clap by a man. How can you love God, failing to love your neighbor? Oh, Garata, John, my dear, my pal, love Garata, my Kelwan. This is the time we start now. Tell him, let's start today. Let's start today. Look here. When you love your wife, and you love your children, and she play against you, the judgment will come to you. It's God who judges. Leave judgment to be of God. I don't know if you're hearing me. After you're you receive money, you are a wife. God is watching you. Now you go to the shop, you are eating money, you are wasting money, you are doing this, and God is watching you. Soon you will get punishment. Everyone will get punishment for what he has done. Just overcome and start to love everyone. You will have peace. You know, I will tell you this thing. I, I've seen that. Yeah, you know, I've met some people. Say, I'm a man of God, you are walking alone here. He's not safe. I'm not safe. I say, I'm very much safe. I'm very much safe. 
I realized that love cast away fear. Many of you from today, you will start things that nobody has ever started in your family. Because there's no fear. You will go where they cannot go. You will touch where they cannot touch. You will reach where they cannot reach. I don't know if you are hearing me. Are you hearing me? Uh, I was telling my son, Terry. I was saying to, to him that go out when you pray. You can go outside the house. 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 And the wife, she's asleep. And they're turning around the bed. And they say, Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus. Very soon, you'll be surprised you are praying with one eye. You are going to sleep. You, you, you'll be surprised you are, you are, you are, you are trying to better yourself. Like I said, don't have fear. He said, no, I went outside, I was praying. But there was a time I heard a strange noise. It's very good for you. Very good. When you are outside, how you can take one? Say, say, yay! How are you? Even you say, say, hey, wena! Hey, wena, hey, wena! I'm praying here. Kya rapela mo? So this is the time that we do what other people cannot do. Redeed in touch, but we will receive what other people cannot receive. I don't know if you're hearing me. Reach a level where you're not limited because of fear. You say you want to do it. What was happening in the heart of Jesus? Fear was there. The Bible says that. Because he was like us. But he overcame fear by love. And say, I'm going. Because God loved this world. We must do it no matter what. And he went there. I don't know if you hear him. This year. I want you to try what you have never tried. I want you to do what you have never done. I don't know if you're hearing me. The reasons why we have got fear, fear limits us from love. Because we are seeing what the devil is saying that it will happen. Nothing will happen. Remove fear, you will see future. I say remove fear, you will see future. You will see future. Can you just read 1 Corinthians 13? Just read 1 Corinthians 13. Ask somebody to say, are you afraid from now? Do you have love? From 1 Corinthians 13. Are you afraid from now? Love endures with patience and serenity. Love is kind and thoughtful and is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag and is not proud or arrogant. There's one character that I want to take there. Love endures with patience. Love endures with patience. Can you see that verse there? Love endures with patience. When you have love, check your patience. You know what's the meaning of patience? You need to give chance. You give chance. Do you know why you there are people that you won't judge so quick. Because you love them. You know, patience helps you not to sin. Patience brings hope to you. 
patience makes you to see the impossible becoming possible. If truly you love God, you won't be discouraged when things are going astray. Because you know you have patience. You will wait for him. Always you will say God's time is the best. That's why we sometimes fail. That is why in our trust fail in our love. Because our love doesn't have patience. Love endure with what? With patience. Can you read verse 5? It will be very much surprising. It says what? Verse 5 says, It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not provoked. Nor overly sensitive and easily angered. It does not take into account a wrong and do it. Love makes you to forgive. Because it's not self-centered. You wish other the best. You wish to see them successful. Have you ever reached that level? That is love for you. Love, when I have love with mama, I don't think about myself. I think about how I can make mama happy. I don't know if you hear me. Even mama, her love will be tested. She doesn't think about herself. She think about how she can make me happy. Love is not rude. The reasons why people are rude is when you touch their comfort zone. They want to be protected. They want to defend. They want to maintain their image. If you can reach that level, they will show you who they are. So love is not rude. Why? Because it's not self-centered. I don't know if you're hearing that. There are people who are touching your comfort zone. Allow it. There are people who are challenging you to the core. Allow it. There are people who are insulting you. Allow it. Because when you do that, you are enduring with patience. You are leaving God to judge. If this love is from God, if this love you have is from God, you will really endure. You will really endure. There are many things that are happening in front of you to test if you mean business concerning the love you have for God and people. But you need to endure. Soon, you will understand why you went through that. Just have patience. Just stand your ground. Because you were loved before you loved God. Love is not rude. Love is not self-centered. Because you were loved before you loved God. Therefore, love also, before you are loved. Do what God has done. I was, I was telling people in the beginning of the year that uh, this year is my year. My year where I have to be tested. I know it happens three years and a half. So I've, been, I've got experience. I must experience betrayers. I must be insulted. 
From there, I know they will be rising. So this has been my experience from 2012. 2015. 2018. 2018. Even now. So this year, in the beginning. I've been experiencing that. I've been experiencing betrayal. Because I know it's a new level. How I handle it, I take everything to God. And wait with patience without responding. When I don't respond, God responds. Your love for God and love for people must not be affected by anything. When truly you are supposed to be challenged, accept it. Soon you will overcome. Soon you will overcome. I want to give you an example. I will, I will tell you this thing. Go and verify it. Especially if you are educated. If mama Amma. can fight me today and divorce me, Bantala. you know what she's saying? If I didn't do anything, she says she's smaller than me. If I hold on to God, God will give me someone better than me. I'm just giving you an example of what I said. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you want to see the better results in life, don't allow your love work to be affected because he who affects you is smaller smaller compared to the one that is coming if I give mama problems I'm telling that I'm not fit to be with mama and, and I will be replaced God is a God of replacing so today don't allow anything to affect your loved one I don't know if you're hearing me whoever challenges you is smaller than you whoever is fighting you is smaller than you I don't know if you're hearing me whoever if I try to cause a problem to you, it's smaller than you. Soon it will be over. I said, soon it will be over. Your opposers will fall because of the love you have for God. I said, your opposers will fall because of the love of God with you. I see you succeeding this year. Can you tell somebody that says, I'll carry on loving. Many times, we want to fight and do something by our own. Leave it to God. Just love. You will see this love will make you to prevail against your Are you ready to prevail? God bless you. You can stand. Let us all stand.